My name is Eric Pratt, and today we are going to be talking about Backup and Restore using our UGUI platform. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. Now, as we can see, I have a cluster here all set up, ready to go. <clears throat> I also have another universe that I've created called EPRAT Demo Restore. This is so, as you can see, I also have a target restore cluster here named EPRAT Demo Restore Target. This will be the main cluster that we have loaded our data into. We can go ahead and come in here. We can see that we have a bunch of tables. If I organize by key space, what we'll see is that we have a sports DB database that you can find in our example database sets in our docs. And then I also have our Northwind, which you can also find. You can see that there's some data in here. Everything's ready to go. Now, let's go to our backup tab. So here we can see that we have some backups. We have a multi namespace backup where I backed up both databases. This one, we can see that I backed up our Northwind database. And here, we can see that I backed up our sports DB database. Now, it's very easy to do this. All you have to do is create backup. I'm using Amazon, so I'm backing up to S3. And here we can say all namespaces, Northwind or sports DB. So you can choose either one database or all databases, no matter, you know, any way you want to kind of configure this, you can do so. So, and then you have the number of threads that you want to use. Um, our eight is default. That's so that you don't have any kind of impact uh, while you're backing up your cluster. So you can increase that, you can decrease that. It's kind of however you want to, uh, you know, however you want to configure it. So we're not going to create a backup because I've already done so. And as you can see, our sports DB did take a little bit longer. It has over 200 tables. Uh, the Northwind, it only has a few tables. So it was, as you can see, quite quick to complete. Okay. Now, if you want to configure your backup, this is where you go. So you want to go to configs, come to backup. We can do Amazon S3. You have to put in your access key secret, the bucket, uh, and then your host. You can do an NFS. So you, you know, if you want to do it on your local file network file system, you can you can do so. You have to set that up yourself. Google Cloud Storage, and then your Azure Storage. So any one of those work. Um, pretty easy to set up. Once it's set, it's quite easy to get started. So on this tab, I have our target cluster that we're going to be restoring into. There's a few ways that you can do this. Um, you can either restore into the cluster that you set up, or you can pull it from an S3 bucket. And we're going to walk through some of the ways that you can do that. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first way we're going to First way we're going to do it is we're going to go ahead and restore from S3. So how we do this is we have our target cluster here. If I come back to my source cluster and I go to backups, right? Um, we can say, all right, let's let's restore the sports DB. So if I copy the storage location, it's going to be the location of our S3 bucket. Um, and what we can do is we can say, okay, in our target cluster, let's go to backups. Let's restore backup. Okay. We're going to select storage, our storage location. And then this is going to be the key space that we're restoring. So we're only going to do the sports DB. In a second, we will also do the Northwind. You can pick particular tables that you want to restore, but today we're just going to restore the whole thing. If you have encryption at rest, um, this will be your KMS configuration. Um, I don't have that set up, but if you do, you're going to want to put that in here, or you can choose from the, the dropdown. So let's click, click OK. And you can see it started successfully, and we will look at the task. We can go to our tasks tab, and it will go through and show our progress. So here you can see we're restoring the table backup. Um, it's going to go through and complete everything. 
over here in our tables, eventually we should start seeing some tables getting created. As you can see, we have a couple. Now remember, we have about 200. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, so what we'll do is right now we'll pause. And once it's done, I'll come back and you can see uh, how it has been restored into this cluster. Okay, as we can see, that looks like most of the tables have been restored. Um, while well, they've been created, excuse me. Uh, we are waiting for the data to be copied over. What I've gone ahead and done is I've created another um, universe that we're going to back up into. I'm going to show you the other way that we can back up uh, or restore into another cluster. So we can see here it's being created. Um, you know, it takes a little bit to provision the nodes and everything, but as you can see, it's, it's quite easy to do so. So let's go back to our target. Look at the tables. And actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's go ahead and kick off a backup. Let's create a backup. We're going to go all namespaces. I'm going to bump up the threads here because I want this to go a little bit quicker. Um, and what we'll do is we'll use this backup to then restore into our target one cluster. So we'll go ahead and kick that off. All right here we can see that we're about halfway done with our backup. We'll check back in here in a little bit and make sure that it's going strong. All right, so it looks like our latest backup is done. What we can see here, we backed up both the Sports DB and the Northwind. Um, they have been backed up to S3. Pretty nice. You can kind of see here that it's completely done. Uh, okay, as we can see, we look here, um, we have the demo restore target one cluster that I've set up. Um, let's go show another cool way that we can restore uh, backups into clusters. All right, so let's go to our source. Let's go to backups. This one I'm just going to do. Northwind. We'll go ahead and restore the Northwind database into our other cluster. So if we come to actions, restore backup, we can pick the universe that we want to backup into. So here you can see we have the original target cluster that we're backing up our sports DB into. And here we can pick the new cluster that we created to then back up our Northwind database into. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go back to our universes page and we come back to target one. We should start seeing some tables. There's the first one, as you can see. So as it goes through, it'll go ahead and create the rest of our tables and load the data in. That's all you have to do. Once it's done, it's ready to go. It's that simple. All right. We can see that the backup has completed. You can look here. Uh, we have our restore backup. It's completed. Our start time was 1556, then 1557. So it was quite quick. Um, the Northwinds database is not that big. So I expected it to be quite quick. You can see here all of our tables. We have all of our data. Um, everything looks good. This cluster is ready to go. You can use it, you can query it. Um, we're done. Okay, and we're back. The sports DB database has been restored. We can come back over here, look at our nodes. They're good to go. Our tables, let's do a quick restore here. And we can see all our data is back. We have our 203 tables. Everything's looking good. Did take a little bit extra time, but we did use the default settings. Uh, so you can adjust those on your own, but that's the backup and restore, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.